safety is of utmost importance and that is true in the healthcare field no matter what you're doing and also includes class. So we have these wonderful charts posted everywhere and they are around bins in which you would be throwing away your waste. This is all solid waste. So this is the solid biohazardous waste. This is the um, sharps container and this is the regular trash can. And all of these are demarcated on this um, chart right here. The liquid waste that you see in the middle here is going to be something that your professor does, not you. So if you do have that waste, notify your professor and uh, we'll end up uh, putting that where it needs to go. So if you look on here, things like glass tubes, glass slides, microscope size, all of those kinds of things will go into the Sharps container. Whereas if you look at gauze and absorbent pads, only if they're soiled um, visibly with something that is biohazardous like urine or um, blood or feces or anything like that, something that comes out of an animal or a human would go into the red trash can. If it's just water or um, food coloring or something like that, it's going to go into the regular trash can. Okay, that goes along with gloves. If your gloves were worn and you did not soil them with a specimen, please put them in the regular trash can. They do not go in the bio biohazardous trash. Uh, same thing with paper towels um, and the uh, plastic transfer pipettes that we have here. These do not go in the Sharps container. They do not go in the biohazardous waste unless, unless, unless you pull, pulled a specimen up with it and um, then it would definitely go in there. Okay, so this goes into the biohazardous waste only if you use specimens with it. If you're just doing water, please put them in the regular trash. Um, you know, if you did a specimen or something, uh, you can put it in the bench top uh, one as well. So the part that people usually have an issue with is how do I know if I need to put something in the Sharps container versus the um, another kind of trash can? Well, the one thing you want to think about is um, uh, say you have a reagent okay and it's it's in this glass bottle okay and like most of them come in and it's it's actually really thick glass you wouldn't think so but it really really is because um, the manufacturers don't want it to break so if the rule of thumb is if it has any biohazardous materials in it but you could um, you could stand on it and jump on it and it wouldn't break, then it would go into your biohazardous um, trash can, so your red trash can. If that kind of bottle would actually break, it would go into the Sharps container. If it would not break, but it had no biohazardous material in it, it did not come from an animal or a human, um, it doesn't have any of those components in it, then it would go into the regular trash. Okay, I hope that you all will definitely use these um, charts uh, because they're there for your benefit. Don't worry about um, not knowing what goes where as long as you reference um, this chart to figure that out. Thank you for watching.